Okay, YouTubers, hello. This is uh, Dangerous Vice, and I'm going to show you how to <coughs> add codes to your action replay. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to insert the action replay into your DS without a game recommended. Um, then what you're going to do is open the DS and power it on and then what you're gonna take do is take the USB cord that came with it oh now make sure the um, the software for this is um, open first on the computer which I will do right now Okay, so there you go, it opened. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert the USB. Close this down. Insert the USB cord. Let the uh, action replay uh, the webcam focus again. Okay. And insert the USB into your action replay carefully, not to push down on it so you can open it. Okay, so once it's inserted, this is it's going to automatically change to this. And now I'm going to pass this to um, Danger Spice, and she'll show you the rest. Okay, hello YouTubers, thank you Danger for passing me the buck. Here is your interface for uh, Action Replay, your quick updater your software updater and I don't recommend clicking this I'll explain in a minute so as you can see it's waiting for the Nintendo DS so now I have to power it on now that I have it inserted um, FYI um, if you're gonna be leaving doing this for a little while adding in a lot of code for a lot of your games plug the DS into the wall so your power doesn't die so I'm going to power on my DS, and Action Replay will load, and it will automatically detect. Damn chair. I feel like it's going to break apart in a second. And it should. Why isn't it detecting? Uh, it wasn't plugged in all the way into the USB port. So actually, here you go. Um, so it doesn't take that long, I promise. Uh, that was just me being ill tarted. Um, so here's your subscription list after you do this update thing. Um, I don't touch this, I actually just touch this the custom uh, code list. This is where I code. Uh, I mean, there's probably a better way of doing it, but this is my way of doing it. Um, you can come here and drag any added code to the game that you want. Um, so let me go to, since I'm on Pokemon bins right now, Pearl. And as you can see, I've entered a lot of different codes. Uh, here's this list actually loaded. This is what's on the system itself. Or on that card. <coughs> so, um... Let's just say I wanted to add the Manaphy event. It's already added, so I don't have to save it. You're going to go up to Pokemon Pearl. Right-click it. And you'll see a list of things to do. Um, you're going to want to go to add, um, add New Cheat. That'll just add it to this folder, which is Pokemon Pearl. Add New Game. Uh, you'll have to have know the game code and everything like that. Read your manuals because I'm not even sure of it, so you know I, I don't really want to tell you how to do that, and then you do it, and then say I messed you up some. 
So, you know, please read your manuals for that. So, anyway, you click uh, add new cheat. And, um, let me see. Come down here. Now, I already had this code. I emailed it to someone. So, um, here I go. I just um, copied it. Now I'm going to paste it. And it has to be in this format and in its entirety. Okay, just to let you know, yes, it has to be in this format. You can't have any spaces anywhere else. So, you know, if you go to a website and it puts it in spacey wise, you have to put it in this type of format right here. And then you can name it whatever you want, whatever, you know. So then once you have to go um, you can come up here and then drag it to this end. And then it'll say the game already exists, do you wish to override it? If you click yes, it'll delete the old one you have on here and replace it with the new codes and everything will be re uh, replaced on it, on uh, Pokemon Pro. Um, so you know, all this that you have here will actually appear over here. So then once you do that, to confirm that it's actually copied over, you're going to want to go to Pokemon Pearl. It's going to load. It's going to take a second. Or a minute. Or 25 years. <laughs> Now, there it is, your Manaphy event. Um, like I said, well, I had that already. Um, and there was actually something I wanted to check. Oh, so I can, I'm gonna actually go ahead and delete that code. Because I already have hard scale. Oh, so see, you can't kind of delete it here, you have to come over here. So, guys, guess what? I have to show you how that process works. Go down, and delete. Yes. Okay, and it's gone. Oh, I thought I was going to add a new cheat, but I'm not. Um, so now I have to come over here. You can delete any code and you want in the, um, in the, um, action replay menu itself. So there you go, see, deleting game, writing game, to action replay. And with all luck, it should work now. <laughs> Uh, it shouldn't take too long unless you did a lot of alterations to one individual game. So, I mean, it's not really a bad or hard process to do. It's actually fairly simple. Um, there you go. So let me see if it actually worked. Yep, there you go. So, there you go. It, max it matches identically to the one over here. And there you go. So I'm going to send you right now back to uh, danger. I hope you guys uh, had an easy time understanding this. Um, to exit out of this, uh, I would suggest exiting this first. And then danger will show you how to uh, exit on the other side. Okay, thank you, uh, Danger. So anyways, um, YouTubers, um, now that the, uh, program is obviously closed. Okay, um, see, no AR. Thing. So you close that first, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this button. And 
there you go. You shouldn't reconnect on anything automatically since it's the uh, program is closed and not calling for it. So now what you could do is you could turn it off, close the DS, and if you want, pull it out. And there you go. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the USB cord out. And voila. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tutorial on how to uh, add codes to the AR Action Replay for excuse me, the Nintendo DS. I love that skit. <laughs> Alright, bye bye.